Thank you everybody for tuning in and joining us today on this webinar. Brantel and Zoom are proud to kick off our first webinar together. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the event. I'm Arthur Abzal from Brantel, and I'll be your host today. We'll start off by talking a bit about Brantel, and then we're gonna go to our friends in Zoom at their head offices live in California, who are going to walk us through a fantastic demo of their product, which is the Zoom phone. And then after that, we'll come back over here, do a little bit of Q&A and some prize giveaways. Well, let's get uh, things started off first. Brantel, who is Brantel? Since 1982, we've helped over 5,000 businesses all over Canada specifically in the areas of unified communications and contact center solutions. Since inception, our main focus has always been improving your business communication needs. So we at Brantel and Zoom understand the challenges your business, uh, your business goes through when managing a workforce during the pandemic. Zoom is an amazing all-in-one platform that solves all your hybrid working needs. I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. Wayne Gretzky doesn't get more Canadian than him. But how does this quote apply to your business? No one actually forecasted how the pandemic would change the way you or I would work. But when it did hit us, where did we all turn to? We all went to Zoom meetings. Now we wanna introduce introduce you to another big innovation by Zoom, which is Zoom Phone. And if your company already uses Microsoft or Google, not a problem. Zoom Phone easily and seamlessly integrates with them as well, as well as many other platforms. And we feel a major benefit of Zoom is the innovation that they, the drive and vision that they have to constantly innovate and empower people to accomplish much more in their work environment. Just this year alone, Zoom has released over 300 new features. That's just incredible. Canadian, eh? Well, let's just address the most important questions on your mind about how Canadian businesses can benefit from Zoom phone. Well, as Canadians, we all know some of the challenges that we get in terms of having the right tool. First of all, we don't have a huge selection of carriers and providers, and they come with their whole, they come with their own challenges, such as high costs, long wait times for installs, and they don't necessarily scale to your business needs. So, what's so great about Zoom? Well, first of all, not one. But two, they have two data centers located in Canada. That's right. So if your organization or industry requires you to have meet compliance regulations or um, uh, regulations that require that all the data be located in Canada, Zoom has you covered. Second, billing is actually done in Canadian dollars. And that is a huge benefit given the not so favorable exchange rate right now. So not only do you get uh, bills in Canadian dollars, you also don't get those surprise long distance charges. Everything is included in the price. And third, you get a Canadian phone number. So if you've always had that one phone number, you can easily port that Canadian phone number to Zoom. Not only that, if you need the flexibility, you can get uh, area codes from different parts of Canada. If you have employees that want to leave Canada for uh, leave the cold winters of Canada, go to Mexico, or take advantage of the new digital nomad visa in Portugal, they can easily work out of there with their Canadian phone number and be in touch. So the combination of data residency, Canadian dollar billing, local phone numbers, Canadian, your choice of carrier, and a great all-inclusive pricing. It's a no-brainer why Zoom phone is way better than the traditional phone systems that we have. Moving on, the one other important thing about Canada is the language support. 
Not only does Zoom, Zoom supports you in both official languages of Canada, so you also get it in French. With Zoom, your users have the option of easily selecting a language app, uh, having the app configured to making sure it's only in French, which makes it so easy for the user. Second, your administrators also get access to the configuration side of things in French as well. So that gets you covered from those sides. You can also engage um, auto attendant, voicemail, and meeting rooms all in French as well. So all of these are available with Zoom and the platform allows your business to operate all across Canada. And you can even expand globally to over 14 languages as well. Well, there you have it now. This is why Zoom is such a great platform for your Canadian business. Now, without further ado, I'm going to be asking Matt Jordan from Zoom, who will start their live demonstration from sunny California. Take it away, Matt. Thank you so much, sir. What a wonderful introduction and good morning, good afternoon to my Canadian colleagues. Uh, my name is Matt Jordan. Welcome to Zoom headquarters in San Jose, California. You're on a live Zoom floor. We have Zoomies back to work now. And what we're able to do from this space is talk to businesses like yourselves about some meta trends that are going on in the world today. We know that hybrid work is here to stay. We knew, know that Zoom was central to that hybrid work scenario over the last couple of years. And now that we're going back into the office, how do we ensure that we can make use of the whole Zoom platform to ensure the safety and security of your workforce, no matter where they're working, anywhere workforces are here to stay? And how do you make sure that when they come back to the office, they have the tools available to them to be productive, to get the job done? And how do you make it exciting uh, for folks as well? So I can dare to say, I'm gonna show you some exciting stuff on Zoom, including Zoom phone and Zoom contact center today. And let's just uh, walk you through the experience for someone coming back to the office. We have new device types and we have new ways of working that are powered by Zoom. And here in front of me, I have something uh, called a Zoom phone appliance, as well as a all-in-one Zoom room that's currently set up in a kiosk mode. So I can show you a new way that Zoom is enabling that return to office with our workspace reservations. So this completely customizable Zoom room has the ability to have buttons with various functions. I'm gonna show you the scheduling software that historically, if you know Zoom, you were able to always schedule rooms for our Zoom room meetings uh, using the integrated Zoom uh, scheduling software. Now that we're coming back to the office, we want to make sure that we have the ability not only to have the appropriate technology at the desk or just a desk or maybe a phone, but we also want to be able to develop what we're calling virtual neighborhoods so that when I get back into the office and I want to come back and I only come back on Thursdays and I work with my team of folks on Thursdays, I want to make sure that I have the technology available to me that's at the desktop to get the job done. I can say how long I'm going to be working in that space. I'm going to say I'm going to just work there until lunch today. Then we're going to go uh, to, to lunch here. And if you haven't used... Um, the uh, Zoom mobile client before, I would ask that you please uh, give it a shot because it's a very powerful tool, allows you to make use of the full Zoom client from meeting to the phone, as well as take advantage of scanning this QR code for the hot desking of the future. And so I've scanned myself into this uh, device using my personal profile. And as you can see, my uh, icon has now updated the maps. And so the digital signage, uh, the Zoom rooms that, that show the workspaces that are available, now folks are gonna know that Matt Jordan is gonna be working at this location. And the device that I uh, booked is at a desktop that has this this phone right here. And as you can see, it went from a green available to a red reserve. And once I get to that desk and get to this Zoom phone appliance, I'm able to complete that login process again with my Zoom mobile client. 
I've logged into this, uh, uh, excuse me, this is the Yay Link uh, device, but we can also supply uh, partnerships with Poly as well as audio codes for these Zoom phone appliances. And the Zoom phone appliance, you know, while it can do all the advanced telephony that the cloud based PBX offering that is Zoom phone provides with shared line appearances, boss admins, being able to take calls from call queues, send and receive uh, different caller IDs based on the caller personas that you are supporting. But what is really setting it apart is that it ties into our calendar as well and runs the actual Zoom client. So I could actually join this webinar uh, from this device, or if I wanted to just start a new meeting, I could start a new meeting and have that full Zoom experience, just like I would from my mobile, just like I would from a desktop client, just like I would from a Zoom room, and not only have video from this device, but also be able to uh, talk using our whiteboarding function. This is the Zoom whiteboarding function. If you haven't used that before in the client or in the room, uh, this would be available from this device. So we're just really showing new ways of working, new ways of making use of technology with this Zoom phone appliance and workplace reservations. And it's really helping uh, business get done so that when I'm in the office, I have the appropriate device that allows me to get the job done, uh, that allows me to have that voice or video centric communications. And while this device may not be uh, needed for everyone, we also support quite a few other devices as well. So I'm gonna switch over to another shot here uh, and uh, switch my location uh, over to uh, a desktop where I have actually several different devices uh, on the desktop. And so I'll uh, bring that up. And one of the things that's really uh, great about the overall Zoom platform is the flexibility that it offers all of our workforces. So uh, I could use my mobile uh, or my desktop client uh, and we all know this desktop client uh, from meetings, I'm sure. It's just, uh, I'll share real quickly how within the single client, we have the Zoom meeting client. We also have the phone subscription. So this is a cloud-based PBX. I can uh, have my uh, history, my voicemail is transcribed here. I have SMS features as well uh, that are available to me. I can change my caller ID based on where I want that caller ID to go out or hide my caller ID, um, integration into directories, Active Directory, et cetera. Now, if I were to take a call uh, from a regular caller around the world, um, I'm gonna ask my friend, Laura, who's a part of uh, this demonstration, to uh, place that call to that uh, call queue uh, so that we can show that um, flexibility. And so what we've got being delivered here is a call that's, and sorry, it's a little fuzzy here, but I've got it delivered on my desktop, on my mobile client, as well as this legacy poly device. And I'll take the handset off so I don't introduce an audio feedback loop. Now this device has full feature parity. So if you have a polycom device uh, that may have been used in the past with maybe an on-prem solution or a Skype for business solution, and that solution is no longer viable, but you still want to make use of that audio codes, or you have uh, maybe, a, a, excuse me, a poly device or an audio codes device, Yealink, Grandstream, even Cisco devices can be tied into the overall Zoom platform. But let me show you what you can do with the Zoom platform that's not a ever going to be possible with regards to this poly device. So I'm going to take that phone call. I've now placed that call on hold. Now within my Zoom client on my mobile, I told you it was very powerful. I'm actually able to see that call. I'm able to take that call on my mobile and I've never hung up on that caller that called a regular phone number, but I'm gonna take it to a next level. And this is only powered by Zoom. And, and this is something that can be made available, not only to uh, people within the Zoom organization that are calling me on this, but any Zoom user anywhere around the globe uh, what I can do is elevate to a meeting. And so uh, what we are trying to accomplish here is bringing that voice only call 
up into a meeting and uh, add video into that call. So really offering up a lot of flexibility with the ability to have desktop mobility, as well as, oh, and here we go again. Let's just go ahead and uh, answer the call and we'll go to a meeting and we'll say a new one here. And uh, here we go with our second test call here. Uh, and thank you very much, Laura. This is uh, Elevate to Meeting, all powered via the Zoom platform. Joys of a live demo here today, folks. Um, Laura had to join us very late. She had uh, some internet issues. She may be having some internet issues with her cell phone today. So we'll just move on from that presentation about the various Zoom phone devices that we can support. Uh, now I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to pivot a little bit. I talked to you about the Zoom platform. I talked about the value in the office. And really, there's so much that we can add back into the office. So, you know, we, we've got digital signage. And what you see right behind me here is our digital signage can be used for marketing like this Zoom slinky video or that red alert showed the emergency 911 notification that I can send to any and all digital signs, as well as the Zoom rooms in my environment. So if there is a need for alerting an office about uh, a, a, a timely evacuation due to a weather incident, uh, you can blast out using the Zoom platform to every available Zoom room, as well as digital sign, a custom message for that uh, situation. You can also have call stats, dynamic data, static data uh, that is customizable and the subscription for the digital signage with Zoom uh, is included with the single uh, Zoom room subscription. So you can have unlimited digital signage in your environment uh, with the addition of just a single Zoom room subscription. Now. Let's talk a little bit more about Zoom Rooms and the power of the Zoom Rooms uh, that we can show you all here. Um, I'm gonna pivot over to uh, an example of a retail kiosk. And again, this is powered by Zoom and we're actually moving from Zoom phone into an exciting new space called Zoom Video, excuse me, Zoom Contact Center and our video kiosk. So with the video kiosk that's powered by Zoom Contact Center, we can take these buttons and customize again uh, the call flow and get uh, the appropriate agent to the caller uh, and all powered on an omni-channel Zoom Contact Center uh, platform. So with that being said, I'll just show you an example here. We've got a retail video kiosk. This might be in a retail store. And maybe I want to uh, talk to somebody about some kitchen appliances uh, here in the store. And I need to have some answers about the high value items that I want to purchase before I buy that Whirlpool or Bosch dishwasher. I want to get a couple of questions answered. So let me get to a subject matter expert that can be programmed behind this button. And what we have is a video first experience that's powered by Zoom in this kiosk mode. And we have the ability to have a customized uh, video. So right now for our demonstration here today, I'm actually using some Brandtel branded uh, communications. And so thank you very much for that information. This could easily be an advertisement for your business. This could be a call into an IT help desk queue and you could be telling people information about IT help desk in the wait, waiting room, all powered via the Zoom platform. And the caller is given even additional information, letting them know that, hey, this is a video first experience. You're, you're muted or unmuted and you will be let in soon. Now, what happens at the agent side, because I'm wearing multiple hats here, I am now in the client as a agent in the contact center. And you can see that it is just, again, a um, tab within the top of my client here uh, that is enabled. And I am currently in a not ready state. Let's go ahead and go into a ready state and we'll see what happens. I'm being presented the call right now and 
the caller who had been in queue is now alerted that an agent is available. They're allowed to join that call, or you can just force them straight into the call based on the programming that you desire. And now we've got a video where I told you I was wearing multiple hats. I need a hat because you see my bald spot. But uh, this video is currently uh, being answered by an agent here at the desk uh, within that Zoom client. So here I am again. I'm taking that call. I'm going to have the caller in the retail store hang up the call. And we can see all the information cradle to grave about the engagement here. And so I'm able to see when the consumer started it, when they left. I'm able to type notes about, you know, it's a whirlpool. Uh, and I can publish that so that the next time this uh, contact reaches out via chat, uh, voice, SMS or video, all powered by Zoom Contact Center, uh, we'll have a record of it. And it could be uh, passed to a system of record like a Salesforce or a um, uh, maybe a Zendesk or even ServiceNow. Um, so moving beyond just basic phone into both um, video, chat, SMS, and more, um, let me... Uh, quickly transition to a second use case that is powered by the Zoom contact center. And this is just a mocked up website that I'm sharing right now. And this mocked up website in the lower right hand corner of the screen has a couple of buttons enabled. Um, the first one is for chat. So without having a Zoom client, uh, we can quickly and easily uh, enable both chat as well as uh, video, SMS, and voice uh, in your website so that you can open up avenues for customers to uh, reach out to you uh, without even needing a Zoom ID or a contact of on Zoom themselves. Now, the chat is really interesting because here at Zoom, we have a product called Solvi, which is a conversational AI um, artificial intelligence platform that allows us to build intelligence into the chat experience so that I can ask for information um, from the uh, end user that's reaching out to us. And as they enter in information, that can be a data dip, a query into a system of record so that we can get that information about a ticket. And when that um, information is uh, sent along, then the agent, uh, again, wearing multiple hats, so I'll switch out of full screen mode here and go to my client is given a ch active chat and I can chat back here to the to the website and have that be real time uh, to the end user. Now chat may not be super exciting for you, but what, let me show you what really is exciting. And that is, um, I'll end this chat real quick here. There we go, and we'll do the disposition again with this one was tech support and say we're done so that we can get back into a ready state before I click on that video button. Now, that video button is powered by Zoom. You can see the call is being delivered. Uh, oh, it here. And what you can see is that we get that same uh, video that's playing. We have the same experience. I did not have to have Zoom running on my desktop. I did not have to have a Zoom ID in order to make that call. So um, this is just really opening up the world to Zoom, to your business, to enhance the productivity and the overall uh, availability of your agents, being able to make use of an omni-channel Zoom contact center experience that can be used for inbound and outbound communications with voice, video, chat, uh, and SMS. Um, it's a really exciting time for us here at Zoom, and we're getting uh, ready for an upcoming uh, user conference that we call Zoomtopia. If you haven't heard of it, uh, please do look it up. Zoomtopia is November 8th and 9th here in San Jose, California, and we would love to have you join us either live uh, or uh, 
and the hybrid Zoom events of Zoomtopia. But that really is a very high level discussion about the overall Zoom platform and the value that we can offer you with regards to different ways of using devices. And if your strategy to move to the cloud includes hardware solutions, or uh, room-based systems like you see behind me, then our friends at Brandtel are a great partner that can work with you to ensure that they get the appropriate hardware and software solution across the full of the Zoom platform to ensure that your business is achieving its business goals. So thank you again, Brandtel. Thank you, Laura, and thank you to everyone that joined here today. Um, my name is Matt Jordan, and if we can do a tour for you from HQ, uh, please contact Brantel. We'd be more than happy to have a custom call with y'all anytime. Thank you so much, Matt. Wow, that was amazing. What a demonstration you did. Um, Every time I see like a Zoom presentation, I, I get so excited because I always learn something new about it. Um, actually, I did learn something new about you, Matt. Uh, you mentioned bald spot. Um, that pales compared to uh, the spots that I have over here. So uh, don't worry about it. You have nothing to worry about. Um, anyhow, I, I hope everybody, you enjoyed this presentation as much as I did as well. As you can see with all these features, it comes to no surprise that Zoom in just three years alone has gotten over 4 million users. And that's just incredible how quickly and they're growing. Um, and as you can see, some of their customers are over here. Um, and a lot of them have huge operations all throughout Canada. So they're very familiar with Canada and how Zoom phone can work it over here. Next, everybody, if anybody has any kind of questions at all, we have a live Q&A. So I'll try and answer all your questions. At the same time, there is that QR code as well. Uh, so just pick up your phone, scan that QR code or take a screenshot of it and take a, take a picture of it. And you can book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me and I can go into further detail about how Zoom phone can be uh, customize or fit into your specific work environment. So we have that available as well. So make sure to click on that link to do that. At the same time, uh, if we have any questions, we can start to get them going and then we can answer them as they keep coming. So I'm just waiting to hear if there are any questions. Awesome. Thanks, Ather, so much for running point with this today. And I apologize. I've been having a few technical difficulties on my end. I do see that we have a couple of questions in the chat. So the first one is, what happens to Zoom phone for my office if I happen to lose my internet connection? I shouldn't mute myself. So uh, great question. There's actually uh, some really interesting advancements with regards to uh, the Zoom survivable uh, node that we can now put in place so that if you do have a mission critical business that maybe is like an education center or uh, a healthcare center and you, you need to have a resilient failover, uh, we do have uh, the Zoom uh, survivable nodes now. Uh, in addition, uh, Zoom is a cloud-based offering. And so uh, if you have multiple internet uh, providers, so maybe you have you know, your SIP trunks uh, with a certain provider, you have an internet pipe with someone else, and maybe you have as an emergency fallback, a, a uh, 5G router that uh, people could join via Wi-Fi. We could make use of any and all of those network access points. And then lastly, um, the third option that we have available to us is we have partners like Audio Codes, Ribbon, and others uh, that have SBCs and, and have session border controllers and high port gate media gateways that I'm sure Brantel would be able to speak to you all more about that give you the ability to have that analog failover as well. Great question. All right, and I see one more question in the chat here, which is if I've had my business phone number for 10 years, am I able to keep this business phone number if I move to Zoom? 
Number portability is easy to do with Zoom, and we can do it as a one-off, or we can do it for tens of thousands of DIDs, and we've done so successfully across the globe. And so Canada, yes, we do have number portability, uh, unless there is some strangeness with your central office that is maybe too antiquity, antiquity easy for me to say, too old for us to port uh, as a whole, uh, there should be no gating factors in Canada to come over to Zoom phone native. Awesome. Well, that's everything I see in the chat for questions for now. If you do have any further questions, highly encourage you to follow up with the team at Brantel with the QR code or by reaching out to them after this webinar. Um, one thing we should have mentioned at the start, we actually do have a swag bag up for draw. So I'm just going to share my screen. We've got a little uh, prize wheel. You know, a few people have had to drop off, but um, we do want to raffle this off for one lucky winner. So uh, stay tuned. I'm just going to pull up my screen here and uh, spin the wheel. All righty, I'll give it a spin and uh, we'll see who won this week's prize. Hey, hey, Arturo. All right, it looks like Arturo may not be on the call. Brantel team, what, what do you say? Do you want to draw for another winner or do you want to reach out to Arturo and uh, let him know that he won this? Uh, the prize here. We'll send it to Arturo. We'll send it to Arturo. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in and I'll kick it up over to the Brantel team for any last words. Thank you everybody for watching this webinar. I hope you all enjoyed it. We look forward to any future ones that you may have. In the meantime, please don't hesitate to scan the QR code. We're going to bring it up one more time and uh, schedule a time as a follow-up. Any questions you have, anything you'd like to discuss about your Zoom phone needs or any phone needs, we can help you out over there. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, folks. Take care. Thanks, everyone.